that this is not just my first time at Food & Wine this year. This is my first time at Food & Wine ever. Is it really? It is. I have oh never been here during Food & Wine because it's always like during school. And so I've never well, been here what during a day Food & Wine. To come. <laughs> right, what a day to come. So today has been the biggest struggle ever. So we were like, let's just go check our mailbox for once. So we went to check our mailbox and then it just started pouring rain and we realized none of it was ours. So we took it to the service center. I got my shoes nice and wet, which are suede, so that's not good. And then I got my dress nice and wet. I don't know if you can see that. Um, on the tram getting here. And also Stephanie forgot her magic band. Yeah. And it was just, it's been a time. So we're here for like two hours before Stephanie has to go get ready for work. Um, but yay, food and wine, whoop, whoop, whoop. Duffy available. Aw, so we got to meet Duffy. Can I shake his hand? Yes. Hi, Duffy. <laughs> this is the festival center for this festival, which I'm kind of confused about because this was not the festival center for the holiday one. And I'm like, let's go in the festival center because I've never been in this building and I really want to go. So here we go. This is wild, kids. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so cool. Really? Really? Bomb. So this is weird. You know what this looks like? It's like a airport food court or a mall food court. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. More like an airport one though. So there's mimosas and drafts. It's like a home show. Here. This is cool. Yeah, like a home and garden show but with food. Chocolate experience. We are in Ghirardelli now. This is cool. Very cool. Oh yeah, thank you so much. These are the best ones. The best Ghirardelli squares to ever have been made are the caramel milk chocolate. Heck yes. So these are all um, statues made out of chocolate. And there's a hidden Mickey pumpkin. Black Panther. Toy Story Land, that's cute. We have a cocoa one. And a Hawaiian one. This one's really good. Oh, I want to pet him and also eat him. It's kind of weird. Okay, so it's in my plans to buy this shirt, but I'm gonna see if I can hold out long enough for our uh, holiday discount. And if not, then I will buy it at the last minute, hopefully. And Stephanie got this spirit jersey, and it's so cute. And I really want it, but I also really want to wait, so we'll see. But I also know that at Disney, if you want it, you should buy it immediately. Oh, that's really cute. I like the back of that one. I like the ears a lot too this year. I might have to buy those. <laughs> Mickey is grilling and now I really want a kebab like so bad. It's just some zucchini and some beef sound really really good. So Stephanie agrees with me that this um, banana almond sundae tastes like eating a smoothie and it's it's kind of strange but not bad. The Brazil pavilion thingy is pretty. I like the flags. So uh, my final verdict on that is I would never buy that again. Um, oh no. If you if you like berries that are really mushy and you really, really like them, then go for it, you'll like it. But if you're me and you don't like berries a lot, like when they're really mushy, and also I don't like uh, blueberries, I just wouldn't wouldn't go for it. So Stephanie and I got teriyaki chicken, bao buns, bao, bao, who knows, sorry Stephanie. <laughs> but we sat down to eat them, and right now the breeze is really nice, so at least the rain's good for something. Guys, look, I found Remy, right there. Okay, so, yeah, here it says non here but then here they called it warm indian bread wow wow so we are here to see the janitors because stephanie wants to see the janitors and i've never actually watched their show the whole way through um i think i've just seen it in passing so i'm excited to see them bang on pots and pans and things blueberry strawberry poison berry girls and berry girls and what? how about halle berry what? Hey. Ah! Enough for the berry oh. Oh. anyway we like all kinds of jam. That's what they call ourselves, the Epcot Jamming Chefs. I thought they were the jammeters because it's the best. Right, for the nice uh, 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 Rub six. Hey, hey. hey what?
good. Stephanie talked to them briefly at the end because uh, they did drum corps and she did drum corps. Woo! Crossman, see, her, her crossman. Yay, band, T-band. I am so out of focus. Wow, wow, there we go. Um, so we're in single rider line for a test track now, and then we gotta head out. But uh, so far, it's been good, but I still like flower and garden better, but this is still good. But flowers are better than wine, because I don't drink, so. If you drank, I think you might like this one better. I don't know, maybe not. Still, there's better decorations than the other. Well, listen, <laughs> I, I prefer food wine. Really, so what are your reasons? Um. I think I like the aesthetic of the green one. That sounds really lame. <laughs> but I really like the colors that go with it. Um, there's always that like maroon, and I really like that. You like fall? And I like the idea of fall. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that, yeah. I like the colors. I actually this like one. fall. Yeah. I like the colors of this one, but like every time I see a booth, I'm like, ooh, violet lemonade. Oh no, violet lemonade. And there's no butterfly garden here, so it's okay. Everything's fine. But it's so cool. We had a very good teriyaki chicken uh, thing that I liked because it had vegetables in it too. It wasn't just meat. So that was very good. And then I have yet to try a lot of the stuff. I've only tried that and the banana soft serve. Okay, so I don't remember when the last time I updated you guys was, but Stephanie and I left Epcot and then we lounged around for a bit. Stephanie had to go to work. I continued to lounge around. I FaceTimed my parents for like a really long time. I'm um, just updating them on things because they're coming next week. Um, and then I was trying to decide where to go and I was like, well, if I just stay home, I could take my laptop and go to a resort and try to edit a video there. And then I was like, no, I should go to the parks. It's my day off. Um, so might as well. Thankfully, everything closes really early at night. So it's gonna like force me to go home early. Um, but Flight of Passage didn't have that long of a wait. So I am at Animal Kingdom and I'm gonna get some food here. Hopefully get some ice cream here. Ride Flight of Passage, see what else I can fit in. It's like 6.30 and the park closes at 8.30. So we'll see what I can do. But I decided to come out to the park. So here we are at Animal Kingdom. So Dinosaur has a 10 minute wait time. So I think my next order of business is going to be going to ride Dinosaur now. The onion is on the move, folks. So change of plans. Dinosaur, Dinosaur, Dino, Dinosaur is down right now. And so I got out of there. And now I'm gonna get food. I may honestly just get food and get in line for a flight of passage here. That's fine. I didn't really have a plan other than food. So I'm just trying to decide what food to get. Because I get a discount at some places, but what I really want is at a place that doesn't have a discount. So I think it's still better to get what I actually want instead of just buying food because it has a discount. So. So I had a really good ice cream cone from the, I think it's called the Anandapur ice cream truck. Um, outside of Everest, that was so, so good. And then I um, got honey chicken from the Yak and Yeti Quick Service, and it's very good. I've had it before, and now I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy some nice, uh, peaceful eating alone. It was nice to get some vegetables in, and the rice, though, oh, I would get, like, if I could just go and order that whole black container full of rice, I would do it. I don't remember their white rice being that good last time, but it tastes just like the one they had at 1900 Park Fair and, like, Crystal Palace and places, where it's, like, it's almost, like, buttered or something. Oh, it was so, so good. So the rice made it completely worth it, and it was good to get some protein and vegetables in. I'm now heading over to Africa to, um, I guess, do the Kilimanjaro Safari. Cause it's like a 7.20 or something. And it's got a 35 minute wait, so I think I can get in line, ride it, and hopefully be done in time to go get in line for Flight of Passage before the park closes. Um, last time I checked, Flight of Passage only had a 75 minute wait. Um, when I first walked in, it said 50 on the app. Now it's a 75. Um, but I'm willing to wait whatever for that ride. So I'm gonna go do the safari and then I will be doing Clyde Passage. I love the yellow flowers that whatever they have growing up at the base of the tree of life has. You see that like to the top right by the waterfall? Isn't that pretty? So I don't know if it's because on the college program you get tired of like being in the magic hall all the time um, or what. I mean I don't really exactly but it, I have a greater appreciation for Animal Kingdom than I did before my program. Like I just walked by the market back there and I was like, wow, it's so like peaceful and you know, normal back here. Um, so I really like that about Animal Kingdom is it is peaceful and kind of a break from like the more typical Disney things. Um, so woohoo, who knew I could actually appreciate Animal Kingdom. 
Okay, so never mind. I'm not gonna do a Kilimanjaro safari. I uh, I don't know. The line was like not moving at all. It was taking too long, and I would like to do flight of passage. Hmm. The phone is ringing. Maybe I should answer it. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm getting out of line. of any Disney park that I have ever been to, um, as far as like attention to detail goes. So, I don't know, it's just very, the atmosphere is very different here than some parks. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm starting to like Animal Kingdom. Uh, so, I mean, it's still probably my, I don't know if it's my least favorite park anymore, but probably still. Uh, maybe Hollywood Studios now. I think they're probably tied. <laughs> here we go, off to Flight of Passage. So actually the standby like sign was like not working when I got in line, um, but there was a family ahead of me. They said it was going to be 90 minutes and they were debating, I think they were from England, they were like, oh I don't know, should we? And I said, wait, have you done it before? They were like, no, I said, you should definitely do it. I said, you should go to the bathroom first and then you should do it. So I'm going to wait. I really don't think it's going to be a full 90 minutes. I will update you at the end. I am now done at Animal Kingdom. It's like 9 something, 9, 10, 15, something like that. So Kate is not quite off work, I think she gets off at 9.30. Still probably beat her home by a little bit. Um, but I'm parked super close up here, so thankfully I don't have to uh, wait for the tram. Because once again, I got here late enough in the evening that I ended up parking like right at the front because they're not really like parking you in like row after row anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna walk out to my car and then I am done. Um, I had fun with Stephanie earlier and then I had fun alone here. So don't be afraid to go places alone, folks. Um, just get used to it because there's no sense waiting around for other people. If they're busy, just go do something. Don't just like be bored because you're afraid to go somewhere by yourself. Um, and I got to talk to some people in line who are from South Africa. They were very nice and it was their first time riding it. Uh, so that was cool. So I chatted with them for a bit and yeah, so Flight of Passage was awesome as always. So really, I guess I just came here to eat and ride Flight of Passage. But that was kind of the plan anyways. So I had a wild time in Animal Kingdom and now me and my sunburnt self are gonna go home and get some rest so I can go to work tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and I hope you're having a magical day.